Hey, good morning, folks. It's a uh, nice little cool morning here in Stagecoach, Nevada. And we've got a little project we're going to do today. So uh, let's uh, turn this camera around. And we have up here a uh, homeless dust pot bucket. Some uh, half-inch drip irrigation line, battery-operated drill, drill bits, and a couple of crescent wrenches and a knife. Inside the bucket, we've got uh, other stuff we're going to need. So, let's see what all we got here. Bought a bunch of stuff last night. Got some uh, outdoor thermometers, and it looks like it is a whopping 40 degrees out. Cool. All right, got those for later. Got my receipt to return stuff. Got some uh, compression tees for the uh, half-inch irrigation line. You shove it, uh, shove it in the holes, and it holds in place. I have here. Let's see if we can get this bulkhead union uh, with washers, and it's three quarter inch. Got a couple of those. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's get some more stuff out. We have here some spade bits. We're going to drill some holes. We've got a couple of these hose bibs that we're going to be using. And they will be threaded into these. And of course... We've got some uh, silicone sealant. May use it, may not. And we have a couple of adapters so I can put a, uh, hang on a minute. So I can put a hose end on that. So, what are we going to do with all this crap? Today, we're going to experiment with... All right, didn't need it anyway. Now, we're going to experiment with uh, making a solar powered uh, water heater and we're going to be using this stuff a homeless dust spot bucket and drip irrigation line and of course water we're going to set it up over there on the uh, <coughs> on the worm bin Aim it towards the sun and see what happens. So, let's get started. Alrighty. So, let's get started uh, setting up the heater itself. It's going to be made out of this drip irrigation line. As you can see, stuff's a little unruly. It, it's coiled up and it maintains its shape. So I've used a clamp to clamp it down to the board and I've measured out three feet and marked it. <clears throat> I'm going to make this thing uh, about three feet high and I don't know, maybe a couple of feet long. Uh, since it's just an experiment, it's not going to be very big. So. I just go to there, see if I can do this in a way 
that you folks can see. All right, where's my mark? There's my mark right there. Okay. And I just take this and cut down on it. It's pretty tough. But once you get it started, cuts fairly easy. And you got a piece. Now once you have a piece done, if you are so inclined, these will be the these will be the center sections of the uh, of the heater. So you can take this. And you're just going to push it right in, right like that. Let it pushed in, it'll look like that. And uh, it's a watertight connection. We're going to make, uh, I don't know, how many of these T's do I have? We're going to make about five of those. Uh, maybe six if I've got a dozen T's. And uh, that'll make up the whole thing. All right. We've got T's on the ends. These are three foot tubes. Notice the T's are not real symmetrical. That's no big deal. They turn. You know, you can turn them however you want. So now I need to make up uh, basically connection nipples to connect these together. And so I'm going to be doing that now. Just little short pieces of tube. Connect them together. And they'll be farther apart than I really want, but that's all right. We'll live with it. <coughs> well, here's the semi-finished assembly here. I didn't quite get that one uh, pushed in all the way. It's all right. It's still far enough to be a watertight connection. Uh, no big deal. The length of the uh, nipples between them, yeah, about three inches. I just eyeballed it and uh, cut them. So one thing I forgot to get yesterday was uh, end caps. I need two end caps. But uh, I'm going to redneck this thing and uh, see what we can do. I'm just going to pinch off an end of hose, shove it in the ends there, pinch off an end. Ugh. Got a little dirt in the mix, no big deal. I think it's still going to work. All right, let's continue on. Okay, here's the whole thing put together. I, uh, in order to stop up the ends where I should have gotten uh, end caps, I simply twisted things up, zip tied them together. Hopefully those kinks will stop water flow. I have the uh, hose bib connectors on here, okay? And I have a hose bib on that one. The reason I've got a hose attached is I'm going to leak test it a little bit. You know, put a little water on it, see what happens. Uh, let's uh, open this up a little bit. So that water can flow through. And then when I come back, I'll close it up. Uh, the connectors are all on. Everything's connected up. It's still got that curl set in it. Uh, it would take uh, some serious time to get that to relax. I'm not going to worry about that today. And uh, I can work on that later. One thing about putting these things together. 
Yes, these are push-on connectors. Uh, sometimes you'll read things or see YouTube videos that say, just push it on. These are compression connectors, so it takes a good bit of force to get the drip line actually inside the connector. Uh, so you're going to use some muscle on that. It, you know, it's, it's going to take you some time. I'm sure there's a tool to do that with, and I will be looking for that online and uh, see what I can find. If there's not a tool, and somebody's a tool maker and an inventor, uh, something that would clamp here, and here, and vice grip those together, or uh, somehow, uh, you know, pull them together, guess what? You've got yourself a million dollar idea right there. All right, so I'm going to go turn the water on. I'll bring you guys back uh, when I've got this thing going uh, to see what kind of leaks I've got. All right, I've got the water turned on. With uh, the hose bib opened up, I'm not seeing any leaks. So let's turn the hose bib off. and pressurize this thing and I'm not seeing any leaks good enough I'm going to uh, go turn the water off and uh, depressurize this all right <clears throat> next order of business is to put two of these and the homeless dish pot bucket. I'm going to put one in the lid and I think I'm going to put one on the bottom. I really think that's my best bet. One here and one here. All right, these are the bulkhead fittings. So I'm going to get started drilling holes in this thing, and uh, I'll put a hole here, and uh, a hole up here. These things thread in. They are reverse thread, uh, so it's not uh, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. It's lefty-tighty, righty-loosey. So anyway, we'll get going on that. Gotta hang on to the bucket. All right. Ah. Getting those things off is a pain in the butt. We'll get it later. hole is not quite big enough so take our little paint pan here and we will figure out how much to enlarge this hole If you can see the, uh, well, I get out of the sunlight. Maybe you can. All right, you can see the paint mark here. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit much. I'm going to go inside that. So we'll uh, 
whittle this out. Be careful with these razor knives. Yes, they're sharp. And yes, if you slip, you can be severely cut. All right. Aha. That fits good enough. All right. So, that washer goes there. And what we'll do is we'll just twist this on in. A little downward pressure. Get that in there. And on the inside of the bucket, down here, put that washer. And we'll take that in. And remember, it's lefty tighty, righty loosey on this one. And go on in there. Just gonna tighten it up by hand. That will be a good enough seal. You can see that right there. And the way this is going to work is I take my hose bib and I put it in here like that. Those bib is in there. Get rid of that thing. In case you're wondering, it will sit like that. Okay? <laughs> Not that big a deal. Hose will attach under here. See if I can spin that around. There we go, like that. And uh, water will flow out into the uh, thermal collection. So now we'll do the same thing on the lid. <coughs> well, the bucket is complete. I have my hose bib on top for uh, water coming in from the uh, solar collector. And hose bib on the bottom for water going out to the solar collector. So now we're just going to go hook them up. Okay, so we've got water hooked up. We've got water in the bucket. A little bit of a leak. We'll uh, deal with that later. Open that up. Let's see. We need some uh, temperatures. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. Let's see what we got over here. I happen to have two identical thermometers. So, the temperature out here is 70 degrees, a little over 70 degrees, according to that. See what the temperature in the bucket is. <laughs> Let's see, it's about 26% humidity. Seventy some odd degrees. All right. Let's see if this had a chance to water temperature is 
according to this, below 70. Yeah, we'll watch it for a bit. Alrighty. So this thing is uh, ineffective to say the uh, the least. And part of the reason is, you know, it's uh, got airflow all the way around it. And uh, it's just not set up right. So, I'm going to make a few changes. I'll show you.